Hello everyone, welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Prasad and I am going to talk about Red Hat Out of Memory Lab. Basically, Out of Memory Lab is designed to analyze and interpret out of memory messages from the Linux kernel. To be specific, we will discuss what are out of memory events, what is the need of out of memory lab, how to use this lab and the limitations. Now let's talk about what are out of memory events. An out of memory event indicates system has run out of memory including SAP space and it cannot reclaim pages from cache to satisfy further allocation request. On a very busy system with extremely high memory usage by applications, it is possible that the kernel can no longer fulfill the application's memory requirements. When the memory has been granted but not yet delivered, there is no explicit means to fail the memory request. Instead, the system seeks drastic measures to reclaim memory often by killing off some tasks to release their memory to be used by the other tasks. If the system does not kill tasks or if killing of tasks does not free up enough memory, then an out of memory event will usually cause the system to lock up. In such scenario, the messages file will capture out of memory table and important information related to the memory allocations when the out of memory event occurred. What is the need of out of memory lab? This lab is designed to pass the out of memory table and other memory allocations and provide the details in a tabular format, making it easier to understand. Now let's understand how to use this lab. You need to access the link provided above. Once you enter, you need to click on the Go to Applications tab. With this, you will enter the lab. Once you enter into the application, you can select the messages or .txt file residing under var log, which contains out of memory content. The lab is also able to parse vmcore dmessage.txt which includes kernel link buffer logs and which also includes out of memory content. The lab will display detailed output of the processes consuming the largest memory resources from the time out of memory condition occurred as well as the other memory allocations will also be displayed. If the um content needs to be copied and pasted into the text box provided, copy the contents from the messages or dmessage file starting with the line invoked um killer and include everything in between up to kernel out of memory and paste it into the text box. For reference purpose, I am in copy pasting a test ohm into the below text box. Once the input is provided, it will display processes which invoke the ohm killer, the process table which shows the number of processes consuming maximum memory on the system. It will also display the other memory allocations such as swap, slab, huge pages, etc. The lab also provides a download button. Once you click on that, all the information which is displayed through the lab gets captured in a .xlx file which you can download manually for reference purpose as well. Now let's talk about the limitations of this lab. Input file should contain the entire out of memory table contents as mentioned in the input section for the lab to display data accordingly. If the content is not as per the guidelines, then the lab will show error stating failure to extract information. The size of the input file should not exceed 10 MB. This out of memory lab does not extract information for C group out of memory issues as of now. In this way, Red Hat out of memory lab provides detailed information for out of memory issues. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this video tutorial will be helpful to you while doing analysis for out of memory events.